In this video, we're going to get into how to change your color palette. So what I've done here is I've created a color palette generator. I used AI to build this. Let's begin with how I came up with my brown color for my theme. So all I did is I went out to the web and I found a base color brown that I liked. I entered the hex code here, gave me the color brown. I looked at this, this looked good. So I copied this and then I went and I pasted it. So over here on, you can see where brown is and I just pasted that in there. Next, I went in and I created my beach theme by, and by finding a color that I thought looked like kind of a beach. I did a search on beach colors and this is one of the colors that I liked. So I brought that in. I looked at this, this looked good. I copied this and then I went over and I put it in here. Now, one thing to note, since beach is a surface color, I added this line in there. So I've added that for all surface colors. So if you go down to rose is the last regular color, slate is the first surface color. So if you'll see, I added for all my surface colors, I added a shade of zero. That now allows me to use shade zero as one of my changes that I made in the entire theme. I replaced white with surface zero throughout the theme. Over in the color palette, I've added the shade of zero just so that you can see the value for surface. So anything that's a surface color has a shade of zero. So you can see here there's zero and all of these are shades. Here's beach and here's brown. Those are the new colors I've added. Now let's see what happens when I programmatically change my theme at runtime. So here's my primary and here's my surface. I'm in dark mode right now. If I shift to light mode, you'll see light surface. Let's go back to dark mode and let's check, let's select brown. So there's brown and that is now, if I go into, that is now my primary uh, color. If I go here, you see my primary is now brown. If I go to any of my others, you'll see brown is there. Now if I go to orange, or amber. If I go to green, you can see that change. Now the surface, surface is another one that's available here. Here is the new one that I added, which is called beach. Notice the greenish background. Here's ocean and here's beach. These three, this one, which is Soho, this one, which is Viva, and this one, which is Ocean, all came from the PrimeNG repository. It didn't come with a theme. So I added those in, plus I added my own. Now let's go and look at it with some of the other pages. Here's a step. Now I'm keeping this open. I purposely do not have that close when I change, because I want to go see what it looks like on other pages. Here's scrollable. Some of these don't look so hot. And this is, this is where you can play around with it and see what looks better. So here I'm changing my colors. So both of these are primary. I could set this up as a secondary because my primary is the submit. Actually, my reset is a secondary button. Now let's just try different ones and see what works, what works best. So as you can see, you can play around with different styles here. 
I will upload this uh, into my repository and I'll, I'll put a link to this in the video so that you can see how it was done. I hope this video has helped you. Please like and subscribe and we will continue to make more videos. Thank you.